good evening welcome back to the channel today it's a, a sunday night it's always a sunday or a monday night when it's supposed to be clear as you can see though it is not clear yet but in about an hour this should all uh, change i've come out with uh, martijn and uh, we are looking to shoot the milky way but not the core of the milky way the core will rise yeah, about three four o'clock but then also a moon will rise um, if you want to shoot at a better time earlier in the evening sickness will rise pretty nicely and we hope it will rise above this tower so while we are waiting for the skies to clear uh, you can see i'm uh, shooting with my canon again my canon 6d that's uh, because my uh, nikon uh, z6 is uh, being modified astro modified at the moment um, this means I'm forced to use this camera again, which is not a problem, of course. Uh, however, I also sold my 24 to tw uh, 14 to 24 millimeter lens to uh, to Cornet already. So uh, that means I uh, have to use the 50 millimeter lens uh, on this Canon, which I have used before, and it is uh, pretty good at around f/4. So that means I will probably have to make a small mosaic uh, image that depends a bit on the composition. Uh, it should line up pretty well with the tower. Um, once it clears up, we can see with our own eyes uh, yeah, how it will line up exactly. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot climb the tower because uh, it has been closed uh, and fenced off. Uh, and that must be with a reason, so uh, safety first. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for now, uh, I'll make some test shots and um, see uh, how the composition comes out at 50 millimeters. And uh, yeah, we'll wait it out. Let's hope uh, the sky is clear. Sometimes we see some stars appearing, but... Uh, I don't see uh, really any good clear skies at the moment yet, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. As always, we'll keep our fingers crossed. The cloud cover gave us the perfect opportunity to shoot our foreground first. get much closer to the tower uh, than I hoped for because there's a tree line blocking our uh, way uh, yeah, more to the distance um, which means I have to make I guess two rows of vertical uh, panoramas two rows at 50 millimeters but uh, yeah I'm uh, almost half done I think and uh, it's clearing up it's clearing up nice when the skies finally cleared, we saw that Cygnus would indeed align beautifully with the tower. But what is this Cygnus region of the Milky Way anyway? If we talk Milky Way photography, people often mean Milky Way core, uh, which you can see here rising uh, uh, yeah, between about 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning in the south, but also, as I said, with a very bright moon. Uh, a lot earlier in the evening though, at around 12 o'clock, you can see another region of the Milky Way coming above the horizon, which is the Cygnus region of the Milky Way. You can see it here uh, rising beautifully uh, at an almost uh, horizontal position, uh, which made perfect sense to shoot with the tower. Uh, yeah, the Cygnus region of the Milky Way is a little bit less defined, but still it has some really nice, yeah, soft glowing, uh, milky, cloudy uh, yeah, kind of stuff, which I really love. And if you zoom in on uh, the star constellation Cygnus, we also have some of the most beautiful hydrogen alpha nebulae here, which is the North American nebula and the Seder region with the butterfly nebula here. Especially with an astro modified camera, it makes a really good subject to photograph. So I'm now uh, going uh, to walk up a little bit, uh, 100 meters uh, up the path to Martijn and we'll start tracking because the sky will be a little bit more free so we can uh, make a uh, cleaner blend hopefully. So that was uh, only about uh, 50 meters I think. Perfect place to uh, set up the tracker. As you can see uh, Cassiopeia is also just above the tower. I'm thinking that this might be a potential spot also for an Andromeda deepscape. Maybe not for tonight, but uh, I'll keep this in mind. Let's set up the tracker. We 
we're shooting at 50 millimeters, that's a bit deeper than I'm, I'm used to. So uh, I'll make sure that my polar alignment will be more exact than I normally do. Uh, I use the app uh, Polar Finder Pro for that and uh, I can see a reticle in that app just to see where Polaris should be through this uh, little uh, polar scope. So uh, let's do it and then uh, start shooting. So my uh, tracker is now uh, doing its uh, final panel. I've chosen uh, to do a vertical, uh, I think about eight panels or something, I'm not even sure, and uh, stacked three tracked stacked panels per row. Well, you know what I mean, I'll <laughs> pop it up. <laughs> what is your, your uh, shooting technique tonight, Martijn? Yeah, I'm not making it that difficult, so I ah, did yeah. a... Uh a foreground shot at 30 millimeter. 30 millimeters, okay. Where you <coughs> saw sickness beautifully aligned with the tower, so yeah. that's great. And now I'm uh, shooting the sky stacks at the same uh, focal length, so. Also 30 millimeter? Yeah. Okay. And it's already running for, I think, 30 minutes, so enough <laughs> data. <laughs> oh, definitely, 30 minutes, man, that should be a brilliant stack. Yeah, we're seeing uh, some clouds coming over, but uh, yeah, I think we are both finished uh, yeah. almost. And maybe I'll do a quick bonus shot of uh, Andromeda there, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, what a great night this is. I'm really hoping my, uh, especially my foreground will stitch because I had to do two rows at 50 millimeters, just go with the flow, totally not planned at all. <laughs> Can't wait to get my 20 millimeter back, but I, <laughs> you keep experimenting this way, so that's a good thing. Whew. All right, let's uh, check on our cameras and then uh, see if we do something else or uh, if we go home. And in the meantime, still enjoying the sky. <laughs> So as you uh, saw, it is uh, yeah my lens is dewing up. It's uh, yeah very humid, getting very humid. Maybe we'll get some fog later, but we won't be there to see it because uh, yeah I think it's about 1:30 or something. Yeah, I guess so. And we wanted to. Uh, uh, I'm afraid yeah, so. 1:30. 1:30. <laughs> we wanted to stop at 12 o'clock, but that's always the case with this hobby. Yeah. We don't matter uh, because we just reviewed our shots and it looked really good. If my panorama mosaic thing stitches, it will be pretty nice. I think you're also yeah. happy. Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, I get it a lot of data, so uh, I guess I will have a lot of detail and sickness. So that's fine. It yeah. looked uh, pretty good at uh, yeah, 30 millimeters really also. Yeah. And you have about one and a half hours of data? No, I think uh, 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> ah, so, 30, 40 uh, minutes, all right. That's still awesome, I think. Hey, uh, if our shots uh, turn out to be any good here, our shots. And uh, for now, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>